Welcome to Wisconsin Family. I'm Jessa Jeremiah. And I'm Justin Riley. And here we are at Wisconsin Granite here in McFarland. And what a cool place this is. This is our first time Gorgeous. filming the show here. And we're really super excited because they have an unbeatable selection of granite for your countertops or floors or what have you, just to make your home the place that you want to live in forever. Yeah. Let's talk about the real estate market for just a second. Yeah. I know this is a hot button for me, but it's such a tough market right now when you're looking to buy a home that, you know, it's really hard to get everything you want and that's something that you know folks are struggling with so I think a, a great thing to do is to buy something that maybe is a little bit not quite perfect right and make it perfect for yourself yeah, absolutely. And, and what a great way to you know the kitchen is such a selling point so mm -hmm. kitchens and bathrooms sell houses right yep. so you can buy a house that's probably in a little bit lower price point and Go crazy in the kitchen and bathroom and make it your own. Yeah, make it something that you feel good coming home to after work. Absolutely. So we're going to yeah. learn a little bit about what they do here at Wisconsin Granite and how it can work for you and your home a little Absolutely. bit later. Absolutely, yeah. And we're also going to check in with Doug from the Siege Paintball. He's talking a little bit about the, how, how the concept of paintballing has evolved over the years and how it's really become an experience, kind of like you would experience it in an amusement park. Absolutely. Yeah, what a great way to get outside. And gosh, if you're having trouble getting your kids to put down the iPhone or the video games and get outside, tell them you're going to go play paintball. That'll do it, right? Yeah, right. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> so that'll be fun. We'll learn about that. And we're also going to talk about another great topic for your home. I mean, it's one of those things that it's the, the nature of the beast you have to deal with eventually if, as a homeowner is heating and air. And we've got some great guys. We're going to pick their brains a little bit today, I think. Yep, John and Chris from AccuClimb Mechanical Services are gonna join us. They've got some great ideas and they've got some uh, great deals. They always have great deals that they bring to the table. So they we're do. gonna find out a little bit more about that. That's coming up right after the break, right here on Wisconsin Family, so stay with us. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are here at Wisconsin Granite talking all kinds of things for your home. We're going to chat with those folks a little bit later. Yes, we are. I look forward to it. And I look forward to this as well. We are talking about heating and air with our friends from AccuClimb Mechanical Services. We are joined now by Chris and John. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Thanks for, having, for us. having us back again. So, today is the day where we find out all of your life's secrets, <laughs> yeah. your your previous past stories, and we're going to share them with the audience at home. Truth comes out now. The truth comes out. <laughs> no more hiding. It's no good more hiding. stuff. But actually, no, you guys had a different name before you opened as AccuClimb Mechanical Services, so I want to pick your brain about that a little bit. It used to be known as North Star Heating and Cooling. Correct. And what made you change from North Star to AccuClimb Mechanical Services? Let's talk about that switch. Well, when we, uh, when we originally bought the company, which Believe it or not, it was right next door to uh, Wisconsin Granite, the very oh. next building over right here. Was it? It was, yeah. You're back we in were, your old stomping ground. We are. It's like, we're, it's like we've come home. It's come yeah. full circle again. <laughs> yeah. um, the, the owner of North Star used to have a company in, Ma in Madison and down in Rockford. And amongst that, they did commercial work and residential. Well, when he sold off the commercial end of it to a company in, in Rockford, he signed a non-compete clause. Mm -hmm. So within 500 miles of Rockford, he couldn't do any commercial work. Well, when Chris and I bought the company, we do, we do commercial work, so we couldn't use Northstar because we would wind up, would wind up violating the non-compete oh, clause. Gotcha. So we changed the name to AccuClimb Mechanical Services. Okay. Makes perfect sense. That, and that. Lord knows you would compete because you guys are great. So. It is, it is, yes. <laughs> so what, what, uh, talk, talk to us about the history of the name. You know, where did the name AccuClimb Mechanical Services come from? Well, most people, they look at you know, heating and cooling and that's it. Mm -hmm. Mechanical, we encompass all of it. We do sure. both the hot side and the cold side in restaurants, right. so refrigeration, ovens, stoves, things like that. We also do their heating and air conditioning, mm -hmm. as well as sheet metal and you know home heating and air conditioning as well. So we all the mechanicals is mm -hmm. what we cover. So we might have been limiting ourselves to. Yeah, I was going to say cold. that is something to, to to call yourselves AccuClimb Heating and Cooling might have been limiting to some folks who exactly. might have need to get their stove or their refrigerator repaired or something. And, and on the commercial end, yeah. Yeah, right. And AccuClimb actually comes what comes from accurate climate. You want right. it, want it to be just right. You want to feel just right in your house. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. It's yeah. all coming together. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your location. So you used to be actually located in McFarland. Mm -hmm. Right here. Right here. Mentioned. Right next door. Right down the street. Maybe you can just hop over there and pick up an office and say hello. <laughs> uh, but now you're in Middleton. So you cover all of Dane County. Is that helpful to be in Middleton now? It is. It is. When we were when we first took over the company, uh, we were starting to discover that the great, greater majority of our customers are west of pretty much Park Street. We still cover all of Dane County, um, but when we moved out there, we, we worked with a Lennox rep, and he said, we got a lot of Lennox reps in the same area. I need representation in Middleton, and it's actually been a very good fit. Middleton's been a great community to us. Uh, we love being there. We support a lot of local stuff there, and we're in the Chamber of Commerce, and support the local football teams, and as you guys saw with, you know, the, the football program in, in the fall, so. Yeah. So that's why we're out there. Absolutely. Well, good. It's a great community. And obviously, you mentioned Lennox. You're you're uh, the local Lennox dealer for the area, mm -hmm. so what what made you choose Lennox? I mean, is there, did you get to choose that, and, and, and why? Um, yeah, we did. There's many brands out there right. that we can do. The biggest thing is is the support that we get from Lennox mm -hmm. after the sale that lets us take care of our customers in the best way possible. Right. Not best for us, but really best for our customers yeah. and make sure that they're happy with everything that they got. Their products are still you know, assembled here in the United States, which is an important thing. Some of the major companies now, they've traveled outside of the United States. That's important to a lot of customers. So sure. Lennox is very focused on what do we need to do to make sure that the homeowner is satisfied. Right. And that trickles all the way down through everything. And it's just so important. It's because phenomenal. It, it goes beyond the sale. I mean, the sale is not where it ends. I mean, it has to go on to, you have to take care of these things once they're in your house. Right. They're second to none. Yeah. Well, they become part of your house. So mm -hmm. to me, there's two components to, to this all working. One is that you're working with the right products, that mm -hmm. you've got the quality in their home, like you said, that provides that support down the line. Mm -hmm. But also it has to be, you know, it really trickles down to you guys and the owners and your involvement. And let's talk a little bit about that and by comparison with the rest of our time here about what it, the difference of having the owner actually on site. It makes a huge difference. Um, yeah, you take somebody that's passionate about it and it is literally their name on the line. Um, I hold the license for the company, I took the state exam, so it's, it's me in your home dealing with you one-on-one. -on -one. If you have a question, a problem, you can call John or I directly and get an answer. Under those get a per not only a person, yeah. but <laughs> exactly. right to the source. Most times if an owner is on site somewhere, there's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> with us, it's, it's, it's every day, day. it's day-to-day, -day, every day. It's occurs. normal operation. Yeah. Right. And and Chris, is, Chris is very meticulous and he likes to have things done a certain way, and we found that our customers are also very meticulous and like right. it that way. And Chris is, Chris is great out there with our customers. Your home is your biggest investment. It's important that the components in it work and right. you have people in there you trust. And we'll That's service right. all brands, mm -hmm. but Linux is our supporter. Yeah. You got it. So you guys always have some great specials going on. John, what do you have going on this week? Well, we goofed. We bought a bunch of Bucky books that uh, we were going to use for promotion, and, yeah. and we bought more than, than what we used. Yeah. So uh, if you call us and you mention Wisconsin Family, we're going to do a $99 tune-up on your air conditioner, and we're going to give you a Bucky book. All right. So the first 20 people, but they got to mention Wisconsin Family. All right. All right. Sounds good. So I'm call them up, mention Wisconsin Family. You get a $99 tune-up on your AC. On your air conditioner. Mm -hmm. And you get a free Bucky book. So awesome. Sounds good to me. Guys, thanks so much. Thanks this for having John us back. And Chris from AccuClimb Mechanical Services. There are your guys. We'll uh, be right back with more Wisconsin Family here at Wisconsin Granite. Stick around. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are here at Wisconsin Granite having a lovely time. It's Granite is everywhere here. They put granite on everything. It's great. I love it. It's here. Yeah. It's behind us. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. And there's all these choices we're yeah. going to learn about in a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, depending on what kind of pattern you get, it can help you hide the dirt in your house as well. We all have kids we were just discussing about. with Doug. <laughs> <laughs> the choices. This is Doug DeBack from the Siege Paintball in McGuanago. Doug, welcome back. How are you? Good. How about you guys? Great. Good. Glad to see you. So, we talked a little bit before uh, we started the interview today about the idea of a paintball park. Now, where did this idea come from? Um, well, the paintball industry is getting a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. and a lot of these, uh, a lot of the facilities are getting very bigger, and we're trying to work more as the uh, amusement industry. Sure. So now, uh, and when we when you think of paintball, 
uh, if you say a paintball field or a mm -hmm. paintball place, yeah. you think of just paintball. Right. Um, you know, we've, we've been doing a lot more than that as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, in some cases you're outside, and so it's nice to, you really get are getting kind of a park experience, being outside, enjoying some weather. And I think the word experience is the thing that pops out, because when you go to an amusement park, you think about that experience. Sure. And mm -hmm. so that's kind of what you're trying to provide your customers. Yep. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little, a little history here with you. How long have you been open? Well, we just celebrated 14 years. Good for you. Yeah, so uh, that's, uh, I don't know why, 14 seemed like a really big one to us. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, it's uh, it's hard to imagine that it's actually been that long already. Yeah. Isn't that funny? It goes so quickly, but just imagine where you were, you know, 12 years ago, 13, 14 years ago, opening up and, you know, hoping it all works out. It's hard to start a business. Yeah, when, when we started, we had one small field. Uh, outside and I mean kids were riding their bikes and saying like I heard you're gonna open a paintball field you know so uh, and now we have seven outdoor and two indoor um, we do a lot of, we do more than just paintball we do the laser tag which has been a very big part of our business both by us and portable mm -hmm. as well as uh, airsoft if you build it they will come you've obviously yeah. done a good job and 14 is a huge milestone because you're over those sort of growing pains and you you know your you know your craft for sure you've been a teenager for two years now i mean <laughs> really that's what it comes down that's to right. so so obviously you, you've talked about how it went from from one field to multiple fields now and now you're offering um laser tag and um, I might like to mention that you actually bring the laser tag experience to people, you know, yeah, corporate so events cool. and parties and things like that. Are there any other ways that it's changed, that your business has changed over the years? Um, yeah, so when we first opened it used to be a very, uh, a very specific demographic. It mm -hmm, used to be mm -hmm. very young males, you know, so 12 to 18 we could fit 90% of our customers in mm -hmm. that male demographic. Wow. Um, and now we have uh, well, first of all, paintball's been around longer, so some of those people that got into it when they were 16, if uh, they could be about 30 right now if they came wow. right when we opened. So uh, so the age group has gotten older, and more females than ever before. Wow. So um, we're doing a lot more bachelorette parties and girls' birthday parties, and, um, and we just didn't see that before. Yeah, I love to hear that too about females getting involved. I think it's great that some of the sort of gender rules or, or barriers are, are sort of going away mm -hmm. and women can do paintball. We were talking yesterday to some women football players and go ladies, get out there and do your thing. I just think it's cool. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I love to hear that. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about you know, expand on the laser tag a little bit because I think this is a really unique component to the business and for families watching at home that you can actually bring that to the house even too. So let's expand yep. on, you do more than just paintball. Yeah, well first of all, you know, when a lot of people think about paintball, they think about um, some of them that played 15 years ago, think of an older style of paintball that's really not uh, very popular anymore. And, uh, but they hear stories of that and they're kind of maybe scared them off of paintball or the next generation hears those stories and they're scared. So we use laser tag to get them familiar at our facility. We play on all of the paintball fields, so you still get to play on the castle field and the city field uh, and all those other cool fields that we've built. And, uh, and, then, uh, and then once they get more comfortable and they see the paintball going on, that's usually what they want to do next. Um, and then the portable, we do just because paintball doesn't work really good portable. I mean, your neighbors aren't going to appreciate it if you have uh, something in your backyard. Um, it's going it, to, it makes a mess, yeah. you know, so. Yeah, and so it sounds to me like laser tag is sort of the gateway to paintball in a lot of respects. Correct, and we've even added low impact paintball. So now we have yeah. three different steps, so we can start you with the laser tag if that's what you feel comfortable with, and then work into low impact paintball, sure. which we go all the way down to eight years old for paintball now. Yeah. Um, and then 10 is where we start with the regular paintball. Sort so, of graduate through the stages. Yeah, so if an eight-year-old can do it, then certainly you can do it. Get yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah. And we just want everybody to feel comfortable, and, and having that transition has helped with that. So we've talked a little bit, you and I, about um, some things that are coming up on the horizon for the Siege Paintball. Talk to us a little bit about what's in the future for the Siege. Um, so we uh, we're in the process of uh, acquiring a new facility mm -hmm. and uh, and expanding. Um, where we're at, we're very uh, we're very limited and we have some stuff that just doesn't work well for our business model, even though we've been there for a long time. So sure. um, we, uh, we're gonna get uh, a bigger place where we can handle more people, more parties, 
and uh, we can just, you know, but cre create that really good experience still. I yeah. have a feeling year 15 is going to be a big one for you. I have yeah. a feeling as well. Mm -hmm. Doug DeBack from the Siege Paintball, thanks so much for joining us thanks, today. Doug. Thank you. And don't go away, there's more Wisconsin Family coming up right after the break. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family, and it's the moment we've been waiting for. We are at Wisconsin Granite, and we've been having a lovely time. It's a beautiful showroom. Yes, it is. And now we're going to talk with a couple of folks from Wisconsin Granite. We are joined now by Behar Messini and Patrick Preston. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for hosting us today. We really yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, it's been lovely, and now we get the real scoop. Yeah. We get to find out all about the granite. Yeah, and we've, we're... I've had the opportunity to talk uh, with your owner, Ismail, a couple times now about where you guys actually source your granite from. So talk to us a little bit about that. Where do you get your granite from? The majority, probably 90% of what we carry here in stock or more comes out of Brazil. Um, okay. Brazil is by far and away the number one stone exporting country in the world. Yeah. So that's where the majority of what we have comes from. Yeah. Wow. So wow. Okay. you're actually importing, I mean, that's quite the task, I would imagine, importing these large pieces of granite. Let's talk a little bit about the customer experience on the customer end. So you, you are carrying these, these basically slabs of granite, right? I mean, you're right. custom cutting them for yeah. your customers at home. What does that look like for viewers who are watching that experience of getting the ability? I see lots of choices all over the place, right. but how do you pick? What does that look like? Can you actually look at the different big slabs that are brought over here? Oh, absolutely. That's one of the benefits we have. We have a neighborhood of about 100 different colors, all full-size slabs that are here to be seen. So it is a very customer friendly experience that way versus looking at small samples. Mm -hmm. Right. And and you get to actually choose the piece of granite that you're you're looking at. Whatever you look at, whatever you pick out in the in the warehouse, that's what goes in your kitchen or your bathroom or whatever. And I think that's an important thing for people to know. So you're actually you're when you're shopping, you're you're picking out a piece and that one is because mm -hmm. that's interesting because each piece is unique. I mean it's a stone, so yeah. every single piece of granite has to be different, right? Right. Yeah. So yeah. if you want if you like a particular pattern that may have some more of one color than the other, mm -hmm. you get that one. And this one is is so unique here because you've got this like little little river that kind of flows through the center of that and that's you know I could just to, see you as a customer just <laughs> to be able to, that one with the river, that to be one. able to choose that specific one, I mean, and that's really cool, and not just well, you'll get something that looks like. And it. that's that's really the advantage of somebody going with our company is that you get to choose the exact piece that you want and exact pattern that you want. Right. Very good. Yeah. So, very interesting. It's very cool. So, Justin was mentioning too that you, do for folks at home, I mean, your house is a big investment. I think it's so important to make sure that you've got the right products in there. But for folks who are watching and and thinking a little bit about financing and how that might work, you actually do interest-free financing? Uh, we do actually. Uh, so one, one, one of the reasons why we introduced it, you know, a lot of people would come here, they want to upgrade their kitchens, but they look at these beautiful colors and, you know, it's a little bit out of their price range or whatever, so we introduced this financing in order for them to be able to afford it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, on most jobs, we can pretty much finance the entire job, yeah. and then you're able to get beautiful colors and just, you know, that's beautiful. I think that's great because you want to, I mean, it's, it's really, it's a permanent investment for yeah. your home. So if you're thinking about, well, gee, you know, I'm really kind of at this price level, but I want to get the right thing in my home. What a great way to be able to afford it exactly. for the long term and get the right product in there. Because, boy, is it more expensive to get something that you're okay with and then have yeah. to change it down the line. Right. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. You want something, and this, this is something that has definite staying power. Absolutely. I mean, you know, it doesn't wear down over time or anything like that. You take care of it and, and it's going to last forever. Another exactly. reason, too, why we introduced that. Um, you know, a lot of people would come here just to do just their kitchens. Sure. Well, being able to finance it, they would do their bathrooms. You sure. Know, they would pretty much do the entire house oh. instead of just doing one little section of it. So. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, and they have that option. So, um, how long have you guys been in business and how long have you been at this location? We've been at this location since 2008. Okay. Um, and that's where the company started over here. Okay. Everything. So, We've pretty much been here since 2008. Great. Excellent. It's a great space and yeah. a great spot to be. And let's talk a little bit about the process. Once you've selected your granite and you've chosen your piece with the river that runs with the river, it. the river runs through. Uh, how do you now? Do you outsource installation or how does that work? Is there another company that comes in or is that something you do? Uh, that's something that we we do at all. Okay. I mean, we do everything from start. You know, the customer picks out the stone here. 
We do all the fabricating. Patrick actually helps with the layout. They kind of okay. choose which river is going through which section. Uh, but thank yeah. you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> river placement is very important it, to some people. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is to me. Yeah, it, is. it is to me. Quite. That's great. And so with installation, this all these questions coming to mind, of course. So I imagine there are a lot of people with sort of unique requests, unique spaces, unique shapes that they might need for their home. I mean, is the sky the limit? Can you cut a piece of granite really to fit any space? Just about, yes. Okay. Wow. That's wow. fantastic. I'm just curious to know, and this is how my mind works, you obviously, Here you know, go. Ismail goes down to Brazil and he chooses these pieces of stone and granite that he wants to bring back up. I, I mean, how do you actually get it back into the country? I mean, that's got to be a huge undertaking to get these heavy, you know, 200, 300 pound pieces of stone back into the country. How does that work? What does that process look like? Um, Nobody really uh, knows. Is, is <laughs> checked, <laughs> we can't talk about that. Right that, that that's, that's a secret. <laughs> Wow, but no, that's a really good point. That is incredible. And part of what makes it so interesting and unique is that, you, I mean, these are being personally selected and sourced and then brought back over here. So right. yeah. um, I doubt he's checking a bag with a, a slab he's probably, of granite. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Probably not. It's definitely not a carry-on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a, yeah. Not a carry -on. I don't even think it would fit in an overhead bin or anything like that. So. Oh, my goodness. So what is the process of fabricating? Because um, this is a really interesting uh, process where you have, a, you have special saws, special cutting equipment that you use. Can you talk to us a little bit about what that looks like? Everything is overall cut from the, from the large slab. Um, everything is cut down into smaller chunks using a bridge saw, which is okay. a, a giant uh, diamond bladed wet cutting saw that will yeah. cut a, into essentially smaller chunks. Yeah. The smaller chunks are then put it into their final shapes um, with a hand grinder or with a stone router to do the edging and do the cutouts. Sure. And then everything is all finished in house and when it gets to the homeowner's uh, bathroom, kitchen, whatever, we put together seams. Mm -hmm. Maybe drill some faucet holes and that's it. Yeah, wow. and you guys actually Make come out. Make it sound so easy. You guys actually come out to the homeowner's um, uh, house and you take all the measurements and everything so that you know exactly where all those holes need to go and how well, big exactly. it needs to be cut and everything. So, I mean, from from start to finish, you guys are really, really. I mean, you you take care of everything for them, so they don't have yeah. to worry about anything Beginning else. to end. And one thing yeah. that I like about this company that I find unique and interesting, we're talking about outsourcing these products from another country and bringing them in, but this is a Wisconsin-based company, and obviously you're working with local folks, and I think that's mm -hmm. really important to the community out there to work with somebody who's here locally, and as you can see, run by real people, yep. and <laughs> uh, who come into your home and measure for your own home. So right. it's really custom work with a Wisconsin business, but you get that element of something really special being imported. Yeah. Like that. yeah, and if you're, uh, I just want to encourage the folks out there, if, if, uh, if you have any doubts whatsoever, just check out their website. There's some great testimonials on your website. I want to go but see the slabs. Yeah, yeah, we could go take a look that at those. That sounds like fun. Jessica yeah. knows what she wants already. That's so. right. <laughs> right. So we are out of time for Wisconsin Family, but hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. No problem. Yeah. Great to have you here. This has been Behara Messini and Patrick Preston from Wisconsin Granite. That's all the time we have for Wisconsin Family. We'll see you next time. Every day is a new Shine your light It's a day and the world is waiting Move along to the song singing in your soul Feel the beat, clap your hands